Hi guys, I'm the Lag Dr. Clay Ballard. I don't know if any of you have ever felt this before, but do you ever get to the top of your backswing and you feel like you're just completely lost? You don't know how to start down, it feels awkward, you don't know whether you're supposed to start with your arms, with your hips, with your shoulders, how it's supposed to come down, kind of in the slot, that kind of thing. And it just gets very confusing. Well, that's exactly what we're going to key in on on this video. I'm going to give you two keys to help you start your downswing and to make it feel powerful and athletic and very comfortable. Let's go ahead and get started. This will make it a lot simpler to start your downswing. So I noticed that many amateurs, when I talk to them about the golf swing, and many players in general, when I talk to them about the golf swing, they think of the golf swing as a back and through motion. So what I mean by this is they think about as you go in the back swing, your weight shifts to the right, as you get to the top, you either pause or slow down, and then your weight shifts to the left and everything comes through together. So they picture the body and the weight shift and the hips, all this moving back together and through together. And that's really not how it happens in the golf swing. As we're completing our backswing with our upper body, our lower body is already starting the shift back to the left. And you'll notice with this with all PGA Tour players. So as we go to the top of the backswing, as I'm about three quarters of the way back, my weight and lower body actually start to shift to the left and to transfer my weight to the left as my upper body and the club is still going back a little bit. And that's how it should happen. So we're creating some separation between the hips and the shoulders. So there's two keys I want you to focus in on when making this motion. It's gonna make it a lot more simple. So number one, I want you to feel like you're driving your left ankle into the ground as you're still turning back. So I wanna get this good full turn I want to make sure my shoulders get a good full turn very early in the backswing and then as they're completing I want to feel like I'm driving my left ankle down into the ground. So what I would imagine here is I have something under my left ankle. So kind of here under the center of my left ankle you can put a golf ball under there, you can put a small stick that you can break and that's a good visual for this. But as I start down I want to put some pressure on there and feel like I'm breaking that stick or driving that golf ball into the ground that's going to help me to start shifting my weight at the proper time. Now the second thing I want to imagine is that this hip is actually going to pull to start me down. So you can imagine here my hip sockets. Imagine there's two balls. They're, they're actually a ball joint ball socket. And as I'm starting my downswing I want this one to feel like it's turning behind my body. So let's watch again from this way. As I start down I want to feel like this hip socket is turning back behind my body and that's going to start that motion down. So let's go ahead and look at this in a golf swing. I'll show you what this would be like. As I'm at the top, I'm beginning to shift my weight as my, my arms are still going back and this left hip is going to turn behind me to start that down, down swing and that downward motion. So there I'm turning behind me and then I'm going ahead and swinging right on through. Now one last key to pay attention to as you're doing this just because your left hip starts opening up, I'm looking for separation, not rotation. I don't want my upper body to go right along with it, and I might start coming over the top. So as I do this again, my left hip is going, but my shoulders feel like they're staying back, and I'm coming down with some good separation between the hips and shoulders. So let's go ahead and try this out and see how I do with this motion. Let's go ahead and name down the left side of the fairway here. There we go, nice straight shot. Felt like I hit it pretty solid. And as I started down there, I really felt like I drove that left ankle into the ground and I let my hips start to rotate to start the downswing, but I didn't let my shoulders spin open. So hopefully this will be a great drill for all you guys to work on and a great tip for you guys to work on. And it'll really help you to start that downswing much more effectively and efficiently. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And as always, if you can click the like button, post your comments, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that I get. And as a bonus on this, another drill that's really going to help you to work on this, I have a great drill called the step drill. It'll help you to transfer your weight to the left and ingrain these motions that I've just now been talking about. And that's in the weight shift section on the site. And I'm also going to play a preview of that starting here in just one second. If you want to watch the whole thing, click the link in the bottom right hand side of the screen or click the link in the description below. And that's going to take you to a, a section where you can sign up for your free membership and see that entire video, plus about four or five hours of bonus instruction 
absolutely free of charge. So I can't wait to start working with you guys much more in the future. Good luck with your golf game and good luck with that weight shift. Now, weight shift to the left in the downswing is one of the crucial pieces of the golf swing. If you get this right, everything just seems to fall into place. Um, it seems very easy to have a fluid swing. If you get this incorrectly, the swing is herky-jerky and you feel like you lose a lot of power, as I mentioned just a second ago. Now, one of the, the biggest misconceptions with the weight shift is that in the backswing, our weight shifts to the right, and in the downswing, our weight shifts to the left. It's very cut and dry. Well, in reality, that's not exactly how it happens. There's a little bit of intermediate area there where the weight is actually shifting to the left while your backswing is still swinging to the right. Now, here's what I mean by this. If you watch a lot of PGA Tour golfers and just good golfers in general, what you'll see is one common move as they're completing the transition, or they're completing the backswing, starting the transition into the downswing. Actually, Ernie Ailes is probably one of the best I've ever seen at this, and it's the precise...